So let's go to the next app, which is Yap TV. And Yap TV is uh, similarly, uh, you look, you can see what shows are trending right now. So people are, a lot of people are talking about the Super Bowl. You can click on the Super Bowl, and then you see this. This is really cool. You see a stream of people who are tweeting about the show, about the Super Bowl, right? and you can do the Colbert Report, and any show that you're watching, there's a guide that shows you what, what shows are on right now, and there's little polls that you can take, and there's chat rooms, um, et cetera. I think this is a very sort of compelling application um, that lets you, uh, in a sense, watch TV with your friends who aren't in the room or with other people. I would say the coolest thing is sort of like this living room motif. You're sitting with it's, it's, been, it's been a dream uh, for TV folks for years. If you want to sit with all your friends, you're sitting with your girlfriend who's across the country or whatever, you guys can both watch a show, you can type, you can talk, you can, you can see what's going on, you can see if your friends are watching. I think this, this would have come in handy like during the last season of Lost or something when I was on Twitter trying to figure out what that dog was or whatever. Right. Everyone is, I, I, I did this the other night with uh, Colbert and uh, you know everyone was uh, retweeting the jokes and it's almost like you're watching with uh, your friends and, and you He's can talk. a real jerk and talks during the right. show. I mean, in a way, it's kind of uh, <laughs> apps for lonely people. <laughs> <laughs> well, TV is a, is a lonely, lonely medium. It is a lonely medium, and this makes it a little bit less lonely. So I'm going to give this a, a fly. I really I'm, like this I'm giving it a fly. And uh, they just did, recently did an update, so it's, uh, it's getting a little better, too. Yeah, it's getting a little bit better. OK, so then the last app. We're All right. Uh -oh. Oh. I think this is uh, Trevor Stout, uh, CEO of Yap TV, and uh, <laughs> thrilled to be on the show here. And I uh, have to say, I think you guys are both brilliant. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Trevor. Trevor. Welcome to the show. Well, cause <laughs> not, neither of us actually watch TV, so we don't understand what what all these Super Bowls and things are about anyway, so. But what, <laughs> what do you see as sort of your, your, the main feature? There's a lot of, uh, there's, there's a number of apps that are either somewhere in between a guide for TV and um, sort of a social application for TV. And it seems like Yap TV really focuses more on the social side. Obviously, you have a guide as well, but it's not really about finding TV shows. It's more about talking about the shows that you're already watching. But can you tell me a little bit about you know, your product decisions, about you know, what are you trying to emphasize? No, I mean, absolutely. And, and I, I actually think you, you nailed it. Uh, you know, when you look at social TV, I mean, obviously it's a huge category. And this, you know, this fusion of, of media, mobile, and social, I think, is, is going to have an enormous impact. But uh, you know, our focus, you know, there's been a lot of uh, emphasis around the check-in model, right? And you know, checking into a show. But you really can't start interacting until after you check in. And you know, even with the audio detection, you know, it, it is a nice feature. I mean, you know, but uh, you know, it takes 15 seconds to get into a show. So what we wanted to do is make it really easy to get into a show. Our presence detection is, is automatic. It's more like a real-time messaging. So you can see which of your friends are online automatically. And, but once you're in a show, you know, it's about that real-time interaction. So how do we create the most engaging social experience? So things like real-time streaming on Twitter. Uh, we lost the signal there a second. Uh, you know, real-time streaming uh, of you know, what everybody's saying worldwide on Twitter. We're, we're tracking that for you know, thousands of TV shows, uh, right. you know, interactive chat, polls, you know, things of this nature to, to make it very engaging uh, when you're actually in a show and, and having an interactive TV experience. Right, and that's the big uh, problem with a lot of uh, check-in apps, whether it's TV or location-based. It's uh, what do you do after you check in? And I think that you're, you're well on your way to solving that problem. You're giving people a reason to check in, um, which is great. Um, but uh, can you talk a little bit about you know why this is valuable on the uh, on the other end? I mean, this is a lot of valuable data that uh, you know uh, TV shows and advertisers and marketers I think would would want. But how how do you plan to make money off of this? You know, I think that if you look at you know people's gateway or interaction with the, with a the television, right? It's you know started with a paper TV guide and then it it went to a remote control with a menu. Which is still, you know, neither are a great way to interact and, and engage with with content that's on TV. So we think the the tablet is is completely going to reinvent that category and smartphones, right? It's just, it's a great way to interact, uh, you know, with with TV and you know the things that you can do with that. I mean, obviously, creating the an engaging social experience so you can interact with your friends, you know, is just the start. But you know, if you look at the type of you know interactivity you can create around a TV show, interactive advertising, I mean, I think the future. Is just is massive in terms of the opportunity, you know, with this type of a new gateway to to television. So, what's the end game here? Are you going to be selling to, I don't know, to a Google TV? You guys are going to try to become the TV guide of the online world, that sort of thing. What's the, uh, 
what's the goal? What's the goal for the company? I suppose. You know, look, we're we're here to to build a big company. Uh, you know, just as Google's the gateway to the web, we think that you know there's going to be a, a social TV, interactive TV platform that is going to be the new gateway to TV, and and we want to be that company. Uh, we think it's it's a massive opportunity, and uh, you know, there's people are doing it today. It's just it's difficult. You know, you can go to Twitter and you can search you know for TV shows. People are checking into Facebook. I mean, TV is is inherently social. So there's just millions of people. You know, already online performing this activity. And how many people are, are, are actively using your app? How many people are actively using it? You know, we haven't released any numbers, but I will say, uh, you know, we put out the uh, iPhone app in December, and I mean, literally just tens of thousands of downloads. We've been as high as the, the top 25 in the entertainment category in the, uh, in the app store. You know, as, a, as a free app, it's a free app for, for fans, show fans. Okay, Both great. Well, ones. we like what you're doing. Thanks for uh, joining us. Oh, well, thank you. I think that was uh, the really first double fly that we The first done. double fly, yeah. <laughs>